Toastmaster for 19 years and loves every opportunity to keep learning about public speaking. Is your communication style set for success or rejection? With his speech entitled, What is Your Communication Style? Benjamin is going to tell us about it. Let's welcome Toastmaster Benjamin. <coughs> Have you ever wondered what type of communication style you practice? Good morning, Dr. Smart. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. <clears throat> I found going to the pathway training in the international, from the international, there is a good display of different types of communication. Actually, therefore, I'm going to talk to you about. <clears throat> it is important to know where you fit in because there are some attributes and some drawbacks. And on the attributes, you want to expand those. And on the drawbacks, you want to write a plan how to bury those drawbacks and improve. So that, that is the purpose of my speech here. <clears throat> In the table topics, and my predecessor in speaking, we talk about communications, empathy. Those are good points to take into account when addressing this matter of communication styles. There are four styles. Please pay attention to each one of them and see where you fit in, what are the good points, and the uh, drawbacks so that you may improve. There are four depicted by uh, Toastmaster International. The initiating style. This style is social, enthusiastic, energetic, spontaneous, and fun loving. This person likes to be accepted and is motivated by relationships. Drawback may appear impulsive. Yeah. Okay. Direct. The style is decisive, competitive, independent, confident. This person likes to feel in control and become frustrated if depending on others. Drama, no shared feelings. And analytical. This style is precise, exact, logical. Is motivated by certainty. Drama, perceived as a perfectionist. Okay? And finally, there is one called supportive. This style of communication is calm, steady, approachable, sincere, gentle, often modest, and prefers to get praise in private. Drama does not like conflicts, but he, this person could mediate. So here you are, in front of all this, now, you, you take what you feel that you fit in. And so let's see how that is going to impact in your professional and personal relationships and trying to improve. Now, my personal experience. I feel that more analytical <coughs> and also buying from supporting. In this state, test provided by Toastmaster International, I scored high on those two. Why is that? Well, that remounts back to my early experience. I was an engineer. I practiced pure engineering for about four or five years, designing roads, slabs, columns, roads, everything. So my mind was always centered on numbers, qualities of materials, all that. Nothing to do with people. So, Whatever you do also impacts your personality, yes? And then the real world came about in college. I had a date, so I want to impress my date. Oh, you know, this beam has a length of so many feet. The roof is going, not, not going to collapse, but it has a life of 10 years. So my day was always straight face, looking at me with some kind of a weird look. 
Um, then we departed. She gave me the phone number. I called and never the phone us. Picked up. And even worse, if she says, Hi, Major, that was a very nice experience with you. Can I have your phone number? You know what that means? That means that she's never going to call. And I'm still waiting, but it's too late. <laughs> And also we can uh, sh uh, shift to another type. I think the supported type is good for me. Yes, because <clears throat> right now, especially in our professional realities, we have to have the <coughs> way to get to people, to analyze, to get to them. And we have learned a lot through courses and here in Toastmaster. For example, the body language category is very important in my profession. I just look at the renter or buyer um, to, to examine that person. I'm looking at the invitation. Okay. <laughs> then, because of the mannerism and words of the speech, I detect what type of person that is. And usually for renters, I, I never fail. I, I know if that person is good or not. Not even if that person promises to pay six months in advance, he will not take it. And also I have learned that in our world, uh, we may make the decision to buy a house or not. I take a lot of attention to, to the image. Here and over there, about this. Very good. So the idea here is that you look where you are feeling and try to take advantage of that. Yes? Uh, we have learned from the masters, and we have learned also from outside, and get away from calling the category of objective, uh, undetected uh, rejection. So recognize the progress that you have made in certain areas, and especially for you guys don't ever have that experience they have in college. That they perhaps is going to return your call. Thanks. <laughs>